What a difference a year makes. Well, apparently at Texas A&M, what a difference eight months make. Mark Rogers TV on Texas A&M Spring Football 2013. The spring game is coming up maroon and white coming up this Saturday, April 13th. Okay, we take you back eight months. It's mid-August 2012. Texas A&M coming off a mediocre seven and six campaign. Ousted head coach Mike Sherman, replaced by Kevin Sumlin of Houston. And of course, facing the daunting task of an SEC schedule for the very first time, entering conference play in the best conference in America with quarterback Jameel Showers. Okay, fast forward eight months. Here we sit, and Texas A&M fared quite well. 11-2, top 10 finish, demolition of Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl, and of course, the quarterback turned out to be Johnny Manziel, who won the starting job at the end of fall practice around August 15th, and turned in a remarkable campaign, 43 total touchdowns in the Heisman Trophy as a freshman, making history. Kevin Sumlin on the top of the coaching world and Texas A&M capped it all off with a top 10 recruiting class in February. There is some talent to replace for 2013 though, front seven on defense and also wide receiver. Let's start on offense. Mike Evans is back, 82 receptions, 1100 yards and five touchdowns. He's the best on the team. But his number two guy, the slot receiver, Ryan Swope, is gone after catching 72 for almost 1,000 yards and seven touchdowns. Kenrick McNeil and Zoma Wachukwu also gone. They accounted for 45 total receptions and nine touchdowns. So the replacements are going to have to come from Malcolm Kennedy, who caught 26 last year from Johnny Manziel for two touchdowns. Also Daryl Walker and Sabian Holmes, they each only caught a handful of passes, so they're going to have to acclimate themselves to Johnny Manziel in the passing game. So there it goes for Texas A&M at wide receiver. It's Evans, then a bunch of other guys that are going to have to step up. Headed up by Malcolm Kennedy. Again, he caught 26 in 2012. Okay, mostly it's the front seven on defense. Big losses here. It starts with uh, Devontae Moore, who was among the top 10 in the country in sacks and tackles for loss with 21 and a half, 12 and a half sacks. Also, Sean Porter, an outstanding linebacker with six and a half tackles for loss and also three and a half sacks. And also Jonathan Stewart, uh, an excellent linebacker, very consistent performer with 81 total tackles. Okay, we run down some of the replacements and we start with defensive end Brandon Alexander. Uh, played as a freshman, significant playing time in 2011, got redshirted because of all that talent in the front seven last season, but is going to need to step up. He's a converted outside linebacker in the 3-4, going to take the defensive end spot as a 4-3. Also, linebacker Tommy Sanders of junior college ranks steps in at outside linebacker. Defensive end Tyrell Taylor, he had one sack last season. He's going to get more playing time. Nose tackle, he's a redshirt freshman. Interesting project here. Polo Manu Kaniu. This guy was a defensive end in high school, 270 pounds. How's he going to play nose tackle in the SEC? Well, he's going to have to beef up big time. Nose tackle at 270. Maybe by the time we get this word out here, 275, 280, 285, because they're going to beef up this guy. He's going to have to face running games in the SEC. Also, you've got middle linebacker Donnie Baggs, number one right now on the depth chart, but he's going to have to fight for a position as well. Had one start in 2012, racked up 27 total tackles and four and a half tackles for loss. Texas A&M fans, you had a great 2012, and you've got the man, Johnny Football, back at quarterback, but holds the fill on defense in particular in the front seven, and also compliments to Mike Evans at wide receiver. Let us know what you think about your football team in 2013 for the Aggies on Mark Rogers TV.